Hey guys, today I'm doing the Fall Time Cozy Time book tag. I was tagged to do this by Cherie Moore. Thank you for tagging me. This tag looks like so much fun. I have just I just love fall and winter and it's the best time of the year to me. So let's jump right into the questions. The first question is Crunching Leaves. The world is full of color. Pick a book that has red and yellow and orange on the cover. For this, I chose Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling. Red, orange, and yellow. This is the first book that came to mind after I've watched everyone's videos after I heard this question. Everyone's choosing the Red Pyramid. So I decided to do something different and choose this. So, yay! The next question is Warm Sweater. It's finally cold enough to don warm fuzzy clothing. What book gives you the warm fuzzies? For this, I chose two actually because I couldn't choose. There are actually probably more than this, but I just chose two. So the first one I chose was The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan. If you didn't know, this is my favorite in the whole Heroes of Olympus series. If I had to choose, The Lightning Thief is probably my favorite of Percy Jackson series, but if I had to choose between the two, it'd probably be this one. I just, I've read it three times now, and I remember last time I reread it, just like less than a month ago. I, I just, it made me so happy reading this book. I just, I adore this book so much. And just all the adventures they go on, and all of these characters. I love all the POVs. I just love everything about this book. And it just, it makes me feel so happy. And I love it. I also chose The Selection by Kara Cass. Because I just love, 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 love this trilogy. I love Kara Cass. I love these characters. And... Every now and then I'm just like get the urge to reread this trilogy because I love it so much I'm saying love a lot but um, Yeah, I've been wanting to reread it lately too because just I I, I heard and saw some Selection TV show stuff and it was it scarred me for life Really like I'm serious This book just it's amazing if you still haven't read it you need to read it. You need to just, just read it now, okay? The next question is Fall Storm. The wind is howling and the rain is pounding. Choose your favorite book or genre that you like to read on a stormy day. For this, I chose the Maximum Ride series. I still have only read the first one, but uh, if you, I don't think I ever told you guys about this. Last winter, just like a couple weeks before Christmas, last December, um, there was a huge ice storm where I live, and our power went out for four days, and full four, four full days without any sort of power at all. It was freezing cold. It was like, it was just, it was like an adventure, but it was also kind of horrible, but I kind of liked the memory. That's really weird. It was like, it was a nice family time, because, I don't know. But at night... After playing apples to apples with my family for like an hour every night, I would go to my room and it was pitch black so I would light some candles and I would read this book. And it has really good memories. I don't know how that could seem like good memories, but it, it's good memories. I don't know how. But I really want to read the rest of this series really, really bad. And when I do, I kind of want it to be storming. I don't know. But I'm going to reread this one before then because it's been like a year. So. The next question is Cool Crisp Air. What is the coolest character you would want to trade places with? For this, I think I'm going to go with Annabeth Chase from the Percy Jackson series. Um, uh, yeah, Annabeth, because um, you would get to live at Camp Half Flood and you would get to date Percy Jackson and marry Percy Jackson. <sighs> Percy. I love Percy. If you don't. You, if you know me, you know that I love Percy Jackson. He is my favorite fictional character of all time, and I adore him. So, I would have to choose Annabeth, because that would be pretty cool. Like, that'd be more than pretty cool. That'd be... <sighs> can't even think about it, because it's not ever going to happen, because they're not real. The next question is Hot Apple Cider. What underhyped book do you want to see become the next biggest, hottest thing? For this, I chose Legend by Marie Lu. I read this book over a year ago, like a year and a half ago, I read this trilogy and was like so excited for the third one and all that. So, uh, this book is just as good as The Hunger Games and Divergent 
and those books and movies are huge and this book like only us book people know about it I think I feel like I mean I feel like other people haven't even discovered it yet and it's so good that I just I want everyone to read it I want it to be as big as the Hunger Games and Divergent because it deserves the hype and that would be awesome. They need to make a movie. Legend movie. Now. Now. Please. Prelude. Just do something about that. Okay. This is a long one. The next question is coat, scarves, and mittens. The weather has turned cold and it's time to cover up. What's the most embarrassing book cover you own that you would like to keep hidden in public? Um, for this I actually chose two. I don't have like really, really bad embarrassing covers. Um... But these two I just am not particularly fond of and would be a little embarrassed to show them in public. The first one, which I know some of you may hate me for, but... Mm. Um, the first one is The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I just really do not like this cover. It's just so, it's so weird to me. It's so weird to me. They're just like, look at this guy. He's looking all derpy and they're just staring at the camera with these creepy kind of smiles and it's just... I don't like this cover. I mean, it's pretty in its own way. It's got like the sun and everything. I like the font. But next, uh, I also chose The Giver by Lois Lowry. Unfortunately, this is a fantastic book. I absolutely adore it. But the cover is kind of embarrassing. It's got this old man on it. And it's not like super embarrassing. Like, I wouldn't really mind reading this in public, but it's slightly weird. That sounds kind of mean. But I mean, who would read a- who wants to read a book like, Look at my book! This old man on the cover! Isn't it pretty? I love this cover! No. Sorry if the setup's a little bit different. My car just ran out of room. So, um, as I was saying, the next question is pumpkin spice. What's your favorite fall time comfort food slash foods? Um, I really don't have an answer for this one. I really like pumpkin bread, to be honest, actually. That's probably a good one. Pumpkin bread is like heaven. It's amazing. Pumpkin bread with chocolate chips. Oh, it's so good. But, or just plain pumpkin bread. I really love. I don't, I don't know. Typical kind of cliche answer, but it's true. So the last one is warm, cozy bonfires. Spread the cozy warmth. Who do you tag? So I'm going to tag Cassandra from Cece's Books, Kristen from Book Nerd Paradise, Angela Alessandra, Brittany from Primrose013, Sam from Rebel Books, Jessica from Price is Wong, and Brenna from Sky Blue Squirrel. So I hope you are all able to do this tag. It's really fun and really seasonal, and I absolutely love this tag. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, this tag was created by Novels and Nonsense. I'm sorry I forgot, but I will ta I will put the original video in the description box. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My next video is going to be the Taylor Swift book tag. I'm going to film that right after this video, and I'm probably going to edit them both today. But I'm also going to do my July... July? Why did I say July? My um, October wrap-up and November TBR pretty soon. So, yeah. October's almost over, and November... November to me is the beginning of Christmas time, and I'm so excited because Christmas time is just... It's the best time of the whole year, and I'm... I look forward to it every year. It's like... I'm obsessed. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!